Good morning. Good morning. It's about 12 something right now. Um, I like to do these videos around this time of the night or day or morning, basically, because there's no one out. I like I like peace and quiet. I mean, I can go inside my house. It's even quieter, but I like coming outside. I just like being outside. It's, it feels nice. It's calm. The weather is um, it's humid, but it's just really nice outside, and it's, it feels good. So why not do a video outside right now, late or early mornings? <laughs> feels good. Anyway, so my name is Juice. If you are brand new here, um, welcome to the channel if you're brand new. If you are returning back, subscriber, welcome back. Much love to you. Hope all is well with you and your family. Um, of course, if you are brand new to my channel, once again, my name is Juice. I post videos on this channel mainly about the matrix, veganism, just truth, basically. Um, positivity and truth. So stuff in regards of like, you know, self-motivation self-discipline self-awareness just positivity good energy good vibe high vibration right all these things if they interest you then you're on the right channel so support this channel and myself by once again subscribing <clears throat> excuse me and pressing the bell notification and we can have a little talk on this video now so you read the title to this video obviously you read the title what i want to talk about is these three guys by the name of Chadwick Bosman, aka Mr. Black Panther himself, superstar actor, Black Panther, um, Bosman, Chadwick Bosman, um, Jacob Blake, recent shooting um, situation where he was shot seven times by a Caucasian police officer and he was unarmed, of course, that caused a lot of, you know, that just got a, little, a, lot, a lot of people emotional, protesting, fighting, low state stuff, right? Low state stuff. And last but not least, Daniel Prude. Hope I said his first name right. Daniel Prude. Again, he was, well, he was murdered by the hands of law enforcement. But, of course, that situation causing a lot of emotional uh, emotional behaviors, <laughs> behavior, behaviors. Um, getting a lot of people angry, protesting, want to go and, you know, hate people, <laughs> excuse me, hate all the polices and just low state stuff, right? All I want to say is this. These three dudes, right? These three guys, they can be actors. They they can be actors. Now, of course, you know, Bosman, his, uh, he's an actual actor. But I believe all three of these guys are faking everything. Their death being shot seven times. Them, you know, being de de deceased, I don't believe it. You know, I call me crazy. A lot of people um, discover these videos on YouTube of mine. They watch them and they think I'm crazy. They think I'm just talking, you know, la la land stuff. You know, just bizarre conspiracy theory stuff, right? And I say to those people, if you're if you're one of those people, if you're that person who think I'm crazy, watch this entire video. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to force or convince you to do anything. I just want you to hear me out and understand there's so much more going on um, than what you're being fed on the news, social media, you know, wherever you get your news from some mainstream network. There's so much more that they're not telling you than what they're only feeding you. So what I want to say in that with that. Um, the reason why I think these three guys are actors because it's 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 doing a great job keeping people emotional. Now you may say, well, someone, you know, dying is a very emotional situation. Well, I think it's kind of silly that you're getting emotional of someone who's dead that you never met or you don't know has nothing to do with your life at all. Like Chad, Chadwick Bosman has nothing to do with my life. So by him passing away, why should I be emotional? Why should I even care about his first or last name? I don't know the dude. I don't know. I don't know him. You know, I don't. I'm not saying, you know, um, just the bottom line is I don't know him. I can't be emotional off someone's death that I don't know. If it was someone in my family, you know, yeah, okay, you know, different story. But someone that I never met, someone that has, someone that has nothing to do with my life, how could you get emotional off that? You sound stupid. That sounds ridiculous. And his death caused a lot of black people to be emotional sad you know miserable right and by them being in that state 
they also have to worry about COVID-19. So they have to be in fear, you know, um, they're stressed out. They're lost if they lost their jobs due to COVID-19. All these different terrible low state um, situations are happening to people in today's world. It makes you sick. It'll, it'll keep you very sick because you're miserable. You're sad. You're stressed out. Those things mean not, those, 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 those things mean you're not eating correctly. You're not sleeping well. You're just your body's immune system is getting lower because you're you're miserable fear all these things are terrible to to the human body you should be the opposite you should be happy high vibration you know being good spirit good 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 energy surround yourself with good people positive people good energy right that's where you want to be at all times but people are not like this they're busy fighting each other protesting you know getting mad being in fear stress confused like Ridiculous! I'm 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 so far away from that. It's not even funny. <laughs> I'm like the complete opposite of those things. It's not even funny. If you follow me on social media, Instagram, um, of course, other YouTube channels that I that I that I run, you see I'm always outside running. I'm never wearing a mask across my face like right now. It's been months. I'm not wearing a mask because I'm in fear of some kind of virus. It doesn't scare me. Not because I think so. Because according to the CDC guidelines that they released. Not guidelines, but some kind of report that they released. They basically stated, and you can look this up yourself. CDC, six, six, uh, put, search CDC, six percent death, and read that article. Um, read, read, read that article. CDC, six percent death. Read this article. It basically states that the CDC got it all wrong, where they basically saying six percent of people, six percent of a hundred thousand people who died from COVID did not technically die from the virus but other health issues so they may be suffering from or they suffered from cancer diabetes heart, heart disease some kind of chronic illness that's what killed that person or people not the virus six percent only die from covid the rest are from other issues but they've been marking people covid 19 positive this entire year so far so they got it wrong is the news reporting this no they're not reporting this. What does this have to do with Chad? I'm sorry, Chadwick Bosman, um, the other two guys. What does CDC have to do with this? Their situation? I'll tell you. Because it keeps people in fear. It keeps people in a low state, right? Because the news are now reporting that the CDC released this report, seeing that they got it all wrong. So why are we so in fear of this virus since it, since only six percent only died from it? And 6% is, is, is coding for a, 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 a satanic symbol, different topic. But all I'm saying is 6 right now, today. That should be the headline news on every news station right now. Every mainstream news station should be reporting this, 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 this situation of this article released by the same people, CDC, who um, pretty much lays out, you know, like the guidelines to be safe from covid but they're the same people who say they got it wrong. This should be reported right now on the news. People should understand that this virus, this virus is not that serious. So wearing a mask and all these silly situations or um, guidelines are just irrelevant. Again, what does this have to do with these three guys? Chadwick, Daniel Prude, and the other guy's name? Blake? Mr. Blake? Their situation keeps people in, in the low state. Everything is to everything is well designed to keep you in a low state. Everything is, is designed to make you miserable, stressed out, confused, scared, low state behaviors or emotions, not the opposite. That's why they have to keep scaring you with the COVID. That's why they're not going to report what the CDC released, this guideline. They're not going to say anything about this at all, but to continue on with this mask wearing, keeping people in fear so they can push these vaccines and get people ready for these vaccines. That they, 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 they have to prolong COVID as much as possible. I will not be surprised if another lockdown will be released after Labor Day weekend. I would not be surprised if these cases, these these high, you know, um, cases rising of COVID came from Labor Day weekend. I would not be surprised if they blame these new cases, these hot spots from these parties you know, like the beach, you know, this Labor Day weekend. I will not be surprised at all. It will just be another way for them to just prolong COVID all the way to, e to um, election time and release those vaccines. 
the it's like the perfect. All I'm saying is this is why, um, this is how I think, and that's why I very much believe, a uh, Daniel Prude, you know, a uh, uh, Bosman, um, Blake, all these guys are here to dumb people down as much as possible, so they can keep they meaning the government drug companies. These people can make sure they stretch out COVID, or really the the top agenda, which is New World Order, is to bring all this in at the right time, but keep people dumbed down in a low state so they don't focus on those things. New World Order, you know, COVID-19 being not such a serious virus as they claim it to be. Like I just said, they just released, they meaning the CDC released this report. You should read it. Just go on Google, type in CDC, 6% death. Read this article, right? Every news station should be reporting this article right now, bringing this to everyone's attention, that this virus is not that serious. If, if, if only 6% died from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, it's just that serious. But that's why all these things are happening to just keep people dumbed down. They might release another death from a big name person, a big superstar. Maybe Beyonce might be next to be sacrificed, or you know her passing away. That will, that that will that right there will make people jump off a bridge, commit suicide right then and there. That will stop the entire world. Beyonce's death. But do not be surprised if you see something like that happen this year. If they got to do, they'll do it. Just to make sure you focus on that. Her death, which is gonna happen for like a month or like a, or like two months straight, just like Kobe Bryant. Same thing. Him passing away. All the focus on him. All the focus was on him. And then, boom, COVID-19. I know I sound crazy. I know I do. it sounds crazy. But this is how you, you, this is how you must think to protect your energy. You, this is how you have to think at all times. Doing your own research. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. Not just seeing more information, but educate yourself on what they're not reporting. What the news station are not telling you. They they should be telling people to eat healthy, exercise, fitness, meditation, get 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 sunlight, enough sunlight, you know, living stress free lives. They're not saying that. All they're saying, because I'm watching these people, all they're saying is be safe and vaccinations. That's it. No healthy eating. As if that doesn't matter. As if food does not play a big part in someone's well well being. Fuel. More water, less soda, juice, all this fake stuff. You know, just plant-based eating. As if this stuff does not make you or does not help you thrive. They, they, they don't talk about it. They say nothing about these situations at all but pure vaccinations. But like I said, they are doing their job. They're mainly focused on making sure you, we, whether we're black or white, whatever you want to call it, the, the main focus that makes sure you're focused on someone's death a person has nothing to do with your life, right? Focus on their situation, their death, so we can make sure you don't focus on this new world order while we're cooking up some other stuff for you to dumb you down again. I'm not sure what's going to be next. It could be a a a a a, a UFO in the sky flying flying around, a, 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 a invasion by aliens, being the death by Beyonce. Something extreme has to happen again. Something crazy has to happen once again. It might be another case of COVID rises, hot spots again. It could, it could be that. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know what's next, but what do you think? There's so much that they, that they can release next. Like defund the police could be next. You know, uh, God, there's so much that they can release to just dumb down the entire population again. People really believe COVID has killed 100,000 of people because of the news. They really believe this is real. And I just told you they released an article saying that it has, it, they got it wrong, basically. They got it all wrong. And news are not saying anything about this article. Zero. Zero. Read it for yourself, man. But yeah, um, God, it's already like, uh, it's already 15 minutes in this video. Much love to you if you're watching this. Um, again, hope you're doing well with your family. Hope you're in just good spirits. Um, you're healthy, thriving, um, you're fit, you're exercising, eating healthy, plant-based, whole food, plant-based, you know, just uh, just stress-free lives, getting enough sunlight. I hope you're doing all these things because that's the real medicine. Believe me, that's, that, that is the real cure for any chronic illness, 
that, that's the real focus. Lifestyle medicine. And some of them are free. Exercise is free. Meditation is free. Going into the sun, it's free. Um, food is not free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But a, a lot of those things are free that you can do right now to help yourself just be healthy and, and strong and thrive. I don't know. Much love to you. Thanks for watching this video. Catch you guys on the next one. Catch you on the next one. Um, and have a have a great evening. Good night. See you guys. And see you.